Y'all ain't doing nothing. Get in here, get in here, get in here. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is That Pop Drive, where we do reviews and opinion pieces on Nicki Minaj, pop culture, politics, and world events. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any videos that we post, and enjoy the video. So it looks like the baby has come out on a new song claiming to have slept with Megan Thee Stallion. Take a listen. So as you heard, he's continuing to claim that he had slept with her, effectively making her situation with Tory Lanez then court way more difficult and bringing out way more details as of what was going on that she had not brought out that would have maybe helped her case, maybe made it worse, who knows? Because she, you know, basically isn't telling the full truth and that is the primary reason why people are finding her testimony to be questionable and the things that she's saying actually happened. We would like to know everything. I would like to see it. Or nothing at all. I mean, clearly, given the information that has come to light as of now, she wasn't telling the truth in this interview. I never put my hands on anybody. I never raised my voice too loud. Like, this was one of them times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. So as of the 23rd of September, everyone had been going in on the baby because of what his album had entailed and he had started to trend on Twitter because of what he said about Megan Thee Stallion. But not all the comments are on his side. One thing about the comments, they are not on your side. So I advise you but the Bobs are certainly living for it. Onika was posting tonight and she was actually being pretty funny, but I'm not sure whether her tweets were actually towards Megan in her situation with the baby or if it was about her being excited for Rolling Loud, which is tomorrow. Congratulations to her, by the way. And I found this on Twitter and I thought that it was just so fucking funny and coincidental. And the baby and Meg Thee Stallion? Here you go. Just because they do a song together don't mean they're together. Yeah, what else would you play? Sure. Did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Yeah, yeah. Did you have, <laughs> did you, Megan, did you have a sexual relationship with <laughs> him? Um, but anyway, you. moving on to our next topic, we're going to be talking about Nicki Minaj and them accusing her, or them as in these obsessed hate and ass fans, accusing her of doing cocaine. People are attempting to use the fact that she has gone live and was sniffling against her as evidence of her doing cocaine, but my thing is, she has came out her own mouth to express her irritation with her allergies as she has been on live and the people in her everyday life can attest to the fact that she has not done that drug and she said if she had done it she would say that she had done it because she had talked about the other drugs that she had done in her life and for them to try to throw this at her as if this is a real thing a tangible thing to call to say about her when there is no real evidence of the sniffling when there is multiple reasons why someone would sniffle we're literally coming out of a pandemic of multiple different variants you know there are already other sicknesses out there there's you know reasons why people would be sniffling allergies all these reasons all these different things but you know it just gets pushed to the white side and it gets turns into a Nicki Minaj bashing party though I think she kind of walked into this one all you gotta do if you want to know my drug of choice or my drugs of choice just listen to my music chat I'm in Tokyo with the Kokyo yeah, no I'm getting numb now don't let me come down Nicki Minaj but then in the rest of the live, if you actually watched it, she explains exactly what she meant by that. Let me get real up and close, yeah. Yeah, so the topic of the day is me sniffling. Um, and, and, and um, so I don't have on makeup yet. This is all filter and I'm not afraid to say it. If the filter moves, child, <laughs> don't tip, tip, tip. All right. So the topic of the day is me sniffling. First of all, I want to make this so fucking clear to y'all. Now, if you're smart, you would know. If you're a fan of mine, that all you got to do, if you want to know my drug of choice or my drugs of choice, just listen to my music chat. Because it's all right there. So as I'm sitting in my beauty room and it's cold again, because it was just warm, because I had the heat on, and 
I put my, um, but I had to take the heat off because it was time to start getting my hair curled. And I saw people saying that. Can I just say something? I don't know. Hey, Em. I don't know if it's just me, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be embarrassed about any fucking drug I did. That's why I talk about the motherfucking drugs I do in my motherfucking music. Always have, always fucking will. If I'm, if I'm off them, I'm off them, child. But I want to make this clear. So open everybody's ears, listen to your, clean them ears out. I have never, ever in my life with my hand to Jesus Christ, and y'all know how I feel about my Lord and Savior, never in my life, ever, not even once, sniffed Coke. Ever. Since I, since I was a kid, I, I get cold. Like, and, and when I used to wear contacts, that would, that would trigger my allergies. I'm always just colder than everyone else. I asked the doctor, was I anemic? He said, um, he said no, your, your natural body temperature is just lower than the average person. So that means, <laughs> somebody said perks only. <laughs> yeah, okay, because I mean, and it ain't, hi, Lady Luck, it, have, it hasn't been perks only, but... All you gotta do is listen to my motherfucking music to know any drug I ever motherfucking did. And if I was, and if I ever snipped coke off, that was my thing. Hola Fernando, que pasa contigo, dímelo. Viva Monse, viva Asca de la Renta. If I ever did coke at any time in my life, I would have been rapping about it. Now, thank you, Booth. I always, if you, if anybody that went on tour with me, I'm always like that. Um, thank you, Frenchie. Anybody that from the, my hood, like I've, that, that's just never been I, my drug, my drug of choice. Um, I do take Allegra every day, and also I have to take Allegra now sometimes twice a day. But if I was crying or if I was just blowing my nose or if I was cold this 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 is me all day runny sniffy sniffly all the time so um yes I have put raps in my like I've said lyrics like keep the snow white I could buy about a bundle uh I'm talking about weight in fact I've only ever even seen coke in bricks <laughs> Who is Stevie J said? We don't do coke, we don't drink that. King Tom, you know they just went to say. But, um, but, hey, Asian. But if you, like I said, if you want to know, since y'all want to know my drugs and all of that, just listen to my music. <laughs> hi, Nivea. Hi, baby girl. Hi, beautiful girl. Um, <laughs> Nicki Minaj got points that woke up the price of coke up. Yeah, I be talking about coke in reference to like weight, bricks. But when I talk about what I actually do, and <laughs> I say popping them things to go up and smoking and smoking Los Angeles bud, I say shit like that because that's what the fuck I'm actually doing. <laughs> and if I was to, by the way, I know a lot of people that, that, what's up TV, what's good? You already know, hi Jack Queens. By the way, I know a lot of, I have a lot of friends or acquaintances, acquaintances in the industry that actually do coke. I don't judge them for it, but I've never tried it, never wanted to, never asked them to, especially in the fashion world, that's so common and normal, um, but yes, Again, let me say it for the ones in the back. My hand to God. And see, that's the thing. When people used to lie about me, I was I never used to clear I never used to clear my name. And there was someone who took a major step and 
and told that lie to people. Um, and I never addressed it. I never addressed it. Because I thought it was too ridiculous at the time to address. But something just told me I was in a good mood. Hi, Big Sean. Love you so much. Fendi, what's up? Can you, Fendi, can you please let these people know I've always been a, a sniffling ass bitch? I've never in my life, let me say it again, we can do a lie detector test, we can do a hair follicle test, get the hair, my hair is long as fuck, get the hair from my motherfucking scalp all the way down to my pussy, bitch, because that's where it reached, my pussy, bitch. It reached this good blood clot, wet, tight up blood clot thing. You understand? <laughs> I know all my Jamaican fans be like, bitch, if you don't stop with that fake ass accent. Um, all right. Shout out to Southside Jamaica motherfucking Queens. No, I know it's time. I know you saying it's not working, but yes, I would be willing to take, take this motherfucking wig motherfucking off. And get my long ass motherfucking strand of hair and test it to see if I've ever in my life sniffed some fucking coke. Never. So when people, you know, the fact that people, or a person before, Emma, what's good? General DZ, what's good? lied on me and told y'all that lie and I never and I never um corrected it I should have I never used to really correct lies people told on me I did that for years and and to be honest is the one what is one of the things I regret I regret not clearing you know my name with a lot of stuff I got this little pimple but <laughs> Ain't no coke. <laughs> Ain't no coke, bitch. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm scared to sniff something. We sick of it. Next time. Next time. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up on the docket. Now, apparently, Nosey Ho has resurfaced and attempts an apology, I'm sure, coaxed by her lawyer, saying, During a few of my live shows, I made a comment about Nicki Minaj's son. I was under a lot of stress and pressure because everything that was going on. But I apologize for those comments. No excuses. I will continue to fight to clear my name with the help of my team and my lawyer, Bobby Samini. No word of an apology from the coke rumors, but I'm sure she will be doing so soon after the results from the hair follicle test come back. Negative. As Nicki Minaj has bragged about being positive, it will be. And then she starts begging for sympathy and payola when she starts claiming that the bobs were threatening her and she feared for her life. I was getting phone calls back to back to back. People came in my comments saying that on um, Pyru, Nikki, I'll handle your lightweight for you. Nikki liked those comments from people. Pyru is blood gang, by the way. People who are members of, of the blood gang from what they say, saying that they'll handle her, her lightweight, that they'll kill me for her. And she's liking those comments. So with her being someone who's a huge star, Because someone with that big of an influence definitely shouldn't be encouraging their fans to do correct. kill me because of something that I said that other people have said. It's not because of that, though. It's because I helped Jennifer. It's Somebody correct. who has, like, a lot of money, a lot more than I do, and a lot of fame. I don't have any fame. I'm not famous. Encouraging people to kill me, you know? I know I'm, like, a really happy person and, like, I'm really up all the time, but, like, it's a lot. Yet she forgets that the internet doesn't forget, and here's why. I think he's inbred. I'm pretty sure his mom and dad, his mammy and pappy, was sister and brother, and I don't like his ass. Y'all remember when Tasha told people she was going to be on Queen Radio, and then Nikki found out what she was saying about her husband and declined her ass, allegedly. Right. Right. But you talking about what's appropriate. Girl, bye. Yeah, she was acting a whole... It's too in depth, but listen, listen, I, listen, I've spoken with a lot of people that Mr. Petty 
doesn't know that I've spoken to. And this was before like all of this shit popped off heavy, okay? And so the lies that they're putting out on Kenny, I'm like, okay, hypothetically, yes, he did do time. But is this not a black man that has changed his life? What? It, I mean, they always saying we, we dragging our black men, but as soon as one actually changes his life, moves up, Forgets the bullshit, all of a sudden, this is what they want to put out. Yeah. I would have told them, fuck you too, when they came up on me last week too. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn on post notifications. And have an amazing day. All right. Uh, okay. Here's the thing. Okay. Okay. I'm not even gonna front. I'm not even gonna fake it. I'm not even gonna front. I'm sick of it.